So when there's a new vocabulary to learn, most of us try to jot down it in a notebook and realize that whether your notes are very clean, neat and aesthetic or just ordinary and somehow messy and unintelligible, a majority of us forget all the written vocabulary after finishing your notes. Nice can be too long to spend apart, but you keep me at the dark. Doesn't matter where we go to do right now is repairing a piece of paper like this and whenever you want to recite English vocabulary, take it out and cover the third column and just look at the second column. And you must try to recall the meaning of them without looking at your notes and it's better if you can set your own resembles with those vocabulary in the reviewing process. So this one is quite similar with the flashcards, but don't worry, there's some disparities that make my method become more useful than the mere flashcards, so keep watching. First, write your vocab as big as possible on the front of the paper, and in the left corner here, write down the topics, and on the right corner here, write down the usage of this vocab, whether it's used in academic writing or in speaking or something like that. Then, turn to the back of the paper, write down all the information related to the new word that I've mentioned in tip 1 here. Well, this note-taking tip for English learning is quite unique and much more effortless than other tips that I mentioned before. Cause you learn new words based on the old vocabulary that you have already known. First, divide your paper into three columns like before and fill them with old words, their synonyms and their antonyms respectively. Secondly, just go to thesaurus and search for those synonyms and antonyms. Then take notes of vocabulary that are new for you. You will realize that those new vocabulary are much easier to learn because they have the same or contradictory meaning with the old word that you have learned by heart. Thanks to this, you don't need to fill every blank space in your notebook with an eclectic mix of information like meanings, examples, collocations, but still can learn the same amount of vocabulary as other methods. Besides, this note-taking tip also comes in handy when it comes to IELTS speaking, writing, or even your college essays because it can improve your paraphrasing skill. Days turn to weeks, always still going strong
to you While the world is falling through Every night we talk until two My fears leave the room These days they've been hard Too scared to show my heart Nights can be too long to spend apart But you keep me out the dark Doesn't matter where we go You're all 